Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jim the Editor Plays, where we are playing through a randomized version of Pokemon Fire Red. But in addition to that, we're adding on the King's Lock rules as put forward by Pokemon Nicol, which means that every new route, we have to draw a card, and that applies one of the rules on the right hand side of the screen. Now, last episode, we banished uh, King Egbert to the disappointed box. Disappointed! Due to his evolution, if you want to see what that was. I head back to episode 19, though I'm sure everyone who's watching this has seen that. And I said this episode we were going to replace, uh, or fill that spot in the party, with whoever uh, people voted for from the uh, game corner. Now, we've only got a few votes in. I'll give you guys till probably Wednesday uh, to vote on that. So if you head back to episode 18 click the little eye in the top corner, a poll should come up and you can vote on that. You have to be signed into YouTube, but if you're subscribed, that's fine, you'll be signed in anyway. So what have we got here right now? We've got Brian, Durf, Doug, Rick and Bruce. That should be enough to get us through the rest of this tower. But why don't we grab Krusty out just in case? I say tower, I mean the game corner. That is depositing. We're not depositing. So we'll get Krusty back. Just so we get cut. And then we'll head off. Alright. Well, who should have the experience share, actually, is a decision we should make. Uh, Durf is the lowest, but Brian still has to evolve. So I'm going to give it to Brian. It's right down the bottom of this, isn't it? go and we'll switch up so that we're using def now we've just gotten the lift key so we should be able to head straight to the elevator in the second floor basement it's through here yeah looks like it all right spin That one. And we are through. Easy as that. Now, where do we go? Let's see what's here first. Oh, another team doctor to play. Or to battle, rather. Who have we got this time? Dr. Jacqueline. I really like the representation here we've gotten. A lot of female doctors. More than men. Okay, Anorith is flash fire, so I can't use fire spin. Good on your death. Ooh. Too little too late there, another earth. Sorry mate. Already poisoned. But I suppose that means I won't be able to use toxic on whatever comes out next. Ooh. Was hoping that would take it out. What do we got? Okay, we can just aerial ace this. Yeah, Panko doesn't yet have that steel type that it picks up when it evolves into Foratress. Or in the regular games it would evolve into Foratress. Of course in this game we have no idea what Panko would evolve into. Good work Dr. Jacqueline. Ah, I could have battled him opened the thing up earlier. Oh well. We live and we learn. Let's head down to basement four. What do we got here? Oh, an amulet coin. That's uh, helpful. I mean, not that we've been particularly short of money. It's always nice to have more, right? 
Jeff can wear it. Ah, we meet again. Whichever doctor you are. Dr. Joe. Ooh, a smoochum. Of course, that's one of our... Uh, and it has static. Okay, of course Smoochum is one of the uh, Pokemon we could end up with, depending on the results of the uh, of the voting in the poll. Remember, just go back to episode 18, and you can vote on that. Ouch. I'm gonna guess it doesn't have very high um, special defense. And another one. Oh, fake out. Was it fake out and static that we've seen from Smoochum so far? Oh, come on, Def. Come on, mate. Use Thunderbolt. Aerial Ace might not um, finish it off, considering it's um, not very effective, and we've just had that attack drop. All right, there you go, Joe. Burned again is right. Can't see any beauty in your evil. Whichever doctor you are, Doctor Mike. I was say, I really like Durf's moveset at the moment. Just seems to be able to hit a bit of everything. Now, I'm sure there are types that it won't do particularly well against, but for the moment, it's working for us. Okay, that's what that's what roleplay does. Copies my ability, which of course I copied off um, the spiel. Ugh, grass whistle. It's kind of annoying. It's one of the few things I don't have a flute for yet. Though soon, soon we'll get the pokey flute in the next couple of episodes, I imagine. Good work, Brian. Oh, and another Smoochum. Um, I'll keep Diffin just to uh, see if he'll wake up. See if I can get him to wake up before he... Uh, before the end of the battle. Okay, so Flail's another one that Smoochum seems to have. Seems to have, rather. And Comet Punch. Okay, so it's not the best move pool we've ever seen. Yeah, take that mic. And then we go, it opens up. So why don't I heal up? Use some of those super potions we got earlier. Maybe one regular potion, just to be going in at full health. That way we can take on the boss doctor, whoever that might be, on full health. And here we go, we meet for the first time. Who's it gonna be? You claim to be Giovanni. But in fact, you are writer Kate, the writer at the head of all the doctors. So maybe the PhDs in um, in English. It's 
since there's a writer at there at the head of them all. Oh good, Yanma with Splash. Is um is Ariel Ace affected by a hustle? Since it can't miss, that seems kind of like a um a problem with with hustle, since it increases physical attacks by whatever percent but lowers Uh, lowers accuracy. How does that work? Does anyone know? Let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, we have a rollouting skip loom, or rather, rollout via assist, so it means whatever's left has rollout. Oh well, take that skip loom. And a pharaoh, of course, we know that this pharaoh has levitate, which is terrifying. Oh, and some good special defense, too. Good on it, I suppose. Just good defenses generally. I guess it is a few levels higher than death. Quite the array of moves, too. Look at that. Ah well, Durf comes through for us anyway. And that was a rather anticlimactic battle with writer Kate. Great work, Durf. I'll get you, Kate. And we got the Sylph Scope. Well, that's handy. All in a day's work for little Jim. Back to the first floor we go. Alright, well, let's head out. Go up, not down. You know what? I, I found that the I found those ten coins. Let's see how we go. All right, that's what that means. Let's wager all three. Oh god, it's going so fast. Ah, oh, I missed it. Wah, wah. Just one more go, just one more go. Just one more go. Oh man, that was terrible. We got two mag- nearly got three Magnemite in a row. We're so close. Let's just one more time. Just one more time. Well, that was terrible. Oh well. I'm I'm horrendous at this game. I mean, I much. I mean, the Voltorb flip. In was it Generation Five? Four? Whichever gen it was in, the Voltorb flip at least had a little bit of skill in it. Although there was always the awkward position where you were relying on pure luck. Uh, in some instances. But yeah. Oh well. Oh well. What we can do is not go straight back into there. Just do a little bit more exploring before we end this rather short episode for today. Because I don't want to start the gym again. Route 16? That's a new route! You know what that means? We have to stop the music for a while, let the randomizer load up, load a random card, and it is a 2. Alright, so what a 2 means is that 
we can catch a new Pokemon of our choice? Let me just check that. Yeah, Pokemon of our choice in, in the area. And this is the area up here. So let's see what we've got. Alright, so we could get an overgrown Weasling. Weezing? I mean, overgrow is not that exciting, but the Weezing's okay. I would prefer something that's going to evolve, but we'll see what else we can have up here. Ooh, a Rhyhorn. Now, Rhyhorn doesn't evolve until quite a high level. 42, I think. Poison point is kind of meh, but... So we'll keep that in mind. This is a, uh, a female Rhyhorn, so we probably don't want that. Uh, only because it means that we couldn't use it straight away. Oh, and it's got Recover. Recover and Minimize. It's a, um, it's a troll set. Ah, didn't save you there. I didn't even think about it. I don't really have my catching Pokemon since the only thing that could put things to sleep was taken away from me. Thunderbolt it. Ow. Good work, Def. Good work, Brian. Alright, so... I mean, I'm not going to stay here forever, but at the moment it looks like it's... Ouch. Rhyhorn or Overgrow, we overgrow Weezing. Now I'm going to say Rhyhorn, and I'm going to say let's catch this one because it's male. I think I have... Hey! I think I have a ton of Pokeballs. So I may as well start throwing those now. There we go, 20. Should probably have bought some Great Balls by now, but we'll see how this goes. Ah, easy! Of course, we'll give this Rhyhorn a nickname. And because he's got a horn on his head and he's got Poison Point, Pointy Boy. Uh, that is a reference to, of course, uh, T90 Official, who is a streamer of uh, Age of Empires 2, actually, uh, who, of course, refers to pikemen and, hal and halberdiers as pointy boys, and has the um, that icon in the chat. we'll see again. Actually, we may not. I don't know how that randomizer works. But we might see again and caught a new Pokemon. So all in all, a big day. A much better ending than last time. Alright, well, thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to vote in the poll. Next episode, we'll get something from the game corner. Thanks very much, guys. See you later. <laughs>